You've just been in a crash. You're already getting calls and texts from family and friends. You want to let everyone know exactly how you're doing. So you hop on your social media and you post you're okay. Hi, I'm Louisiana personal injury lawyer Lloyd Bourgeois, and I see car accident victims make this mistake every day. Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, we're all on them, right? Even my grandmother's posting cat videos and sending me links. But here's the deal. After a car crash, you might be shaken, scared, and relieved, and you want to post you're okay. Don't do it. I've seen it too many times. You post about the crash, you're relieved that you're alive, and you're okay. Sure, you may be a little sore. That's to be expected. You're just glad it's not worse. You're sure it'll go away with time. Weeks later, the soreness doesn't go away. You need extensive therapy, maybe even some injections or surgery. You're missing work, bills are piling up. Ultimately, you have to file a lawsuit to get what you deserve. And then guess what? The insurance company's gonna ask for your social media posts. They don't already have screenshots of them. You're gonna use those posts as proof that you were fine after the crash. Don't give them that ammo. Just refrain from posting any details of your crash on any social media platform. Not just immediately after, but throughout the entirety of your case. I know it's gonna be tough, but the compensation you get oftentimes is directly related to what you may post on social media. Remember, anything that you put on social media can be used in your lawsuit, even past photos and posts of your friends. I know social media is a part of our lives, but after a crash, please stay safe on social media. Your well-being matters, your results matter. Let's fight smart, together.